Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about a group of skincare ingredients that's called tyrosinase inhibitors or skin lighteners. These powerful ingredients are what we can use to treat hyperpigmentation. Hyperpigmentation is a common skin condition that can be triggered by various factors. The three leading causes of skin hyperpigmentations are genetics, sun exposures, and certain medications. Hyperpigmentation can be in the form of sunspot, melasma, or post-inflammatory hyperpigmentations from wounds, acne, or it could be freckles or birthmarks. It's actually a very common skin condition characterized by darkened patches due to excess melanin production. It affects a significant portion of the global population with women more frequently impacted than men. And they are a leading reason for dermatology visits, particularly among people with skin of color. For example, a study shows melasma affects approximately 5 million people in, in the United States with a prevalence rate of up to 40% in certain populations. Another study a few years ago revealed at least 65% of African Americans, 52% of Hispanics, and 47% of Asian population develop acne-induced post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Oh my gosh, yikes. That is a, a significant amount. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. It may seem minor compared to other conditions such as hypertension or heart disease, but it can be bothersome for most people. It definitely affects our self-esteem and our confidence. That's why it's very important to get ahead of these hyperpigmentation and incorporate some kind of tyrosinase inhibitors into your daily skincare routine. So let's dive into it. What are tyrosinase inhibitors? All right, so tyrosinase inhibitors are substances that reduce the activity of tyrosinase enzyme, which plays a key role in melanin production in the skin. By inhibiting tyrosinase, these compounds help to prevent or reduce hyperpigmentation such as dark spots, sunspots, and melasma, leading to a more even skin tone. They work by blocking the enzyme's ability to produce melanin, the pigment that gives our skin the color. What can tyrosinase inhibitors treat? Great question. Basically, hyperpigmentation, whether the melasma, PIH from post-surgery uh, or acne, sunspots, age spots, or freckles. So which tyrosinase inhibitors should we know about? So there's a lot of potential tyrosinase inhibitors in the market currently, but the one that we will mention here shortly are the ones that have a lot of research studies behind them. Okay, first up is alpha arbutrin. Alpha arbutrin is extracted from plants such as cranberries, blueberries, pomegranates, and bearberries. This enzyme is called the hydroquinone alternative because it has a similar molecular structure to hydroquinone. It's also one of the most effective tyrosinase inhibitors out there. It works well for melasma, PIH, and acne scarring. It also pairs well with vitamin C and it does not really cause a lot of irritation compared to the others that we will talk about. Another one is kojic acid. Kojic acid is derived from mushrooms and fermented processed uh, foods like soy sauce or sake. <laughs> it has antioxidants, antimicrobial, and antifungal properties. Kojic acid stops and prevents tyrosinase from producing melanin. I recommend to start with a low concentrations such as 1% because it can be irritating and drying to the skin. Kojic acid is not recommended for people with very sensitive skin because it can cause contact dermatitis. Avoid pairing with exfoliants such as AHA, BHA, or retinols. So next is vitamin C. Vitamin C has a lot of role in the body. Not only is it a tyrosinase inhibitor, it also has antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. Vitamin C increases collagen production, aid in wound healing, and protects our skin from the sun damage, among many other things. Vitamin C is hard to stabilize, in production, it needs to be well formulated and packaged to remain effective. L-ascorbic acid is the most potent and most stable form of vitamin C for your skin. Using vitamin C under sunscreen boosts that sunscreen's protection properties by neutralizing free radicals. It pairs well with ferulic acid, hyaluronic acid, and vitamin E. 
Vitamin C should not be combined with other ingredients such as AHA, BHA, and retinols as they can be too aggressive for some people. Okay, next we have azelaic acid. Apart from being highly effective tyrosinase inhibitor, it also helps to treat acne and rosacea. Azelaic acid has an antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and antimicrobial properties, so it will keep your pores clear and clean. It also encourages cellular turnover and by exfoliating the skin, which improves the tone and texture as a result. Because of its antioxidant properties, azelaic acid neutralizes and removes free radicals from the skin, which are the cause of dull-looking skin. This is excellent for mature and acne-prone skin. I would suggest starting slow when incorporating these ingredients into your skin care regimen as it can also be drying. All right, so we have tranosamic acid on the list. This ingredient works by interfering with melanin production and can be used topically, orally, or through injections. Mm -hmm. It's found to have a potent depigmenting effect and as it interferes in the pathway that activates the excessive production of melanin, responsible for dark spots on the skin. It has the advantage of being very well tolerated, even on sensitive skin, or by those who cannot use other more aggressive tyrosinase inhibitors such as AHAs. There's a lot of emerging research studies on this ingredient, so you will see it more and more on the skincare market. So next on the list, we have licorice root, which contains compounds like licoritin and glabridin that can help uh, disperse melanin, inhibit tyrosinase, and other antioxidant and anti-inflammatory benefits. Uh, licorice root also offers calming effects that can help manage conditions such as acne, rosacea, eczema, and sensitive skin. Its soothing properties help reduce itchiness and redness and irritation. A few but not many studies show that it could potentially also help with oily skin, making it beneficial for those with acne. So if you have sensitive skin, you're in luck. Licorice root is very gentle compared to prescription skin brighteners. Its sensitive nature means that anyone, regardless of skin type, should be able to use it with little to no reaction. And up next on our list, we have hydroquinone, the most effective tyrosinase inhibitor, but also the most controversial. It's yeah. actually banned in many countries, including Canada, Europe, and Australia. Ugh. Yeah. Hydroquinone is a skin lightening ingredient used to fade dark spots, melasma, sunspots, and post acne marks. It works by blocking the enzyme responsible for melanin production, which helps reduce hyperpigmentation over time. Although this product can show significant results, as like the other tyrosinase inhibitors we've mentioned earlier, hydroquinone should be used with care, meaning yeah. only for short term and always with sunscreen. This is because long term or improper use can lead to side effects like skin irritation or in rare, in rare cases, develop ochronosis which is darkening of the skin yeah. that looks reddish brown or bluish yeah, black. Man. So it's best used under the guidance from your provider. Okay. So our last and one of my absolute favorite skincare ingredients out there is retinol. And it's great for a lot of reasons. Retinol is a derivative of vitamin A and it's part of a larger group called retinoids. It's been studied for decades and is one of the few ingredients that dermatologists constantly mm -hmm. agree that actually works. Especially when it comes to anti-aging and skin renewal, retinol boosts your collagen's uh, production, which naturally you declines with age. Uh, so meaning more collagen means firmer, plumper skin and fewer fine lines and wrinkles over time. It also helps to helps your skin shed old, dull cells and replace them with fresh new ones. This makes your complexion look brighter and more even. Retinol actually also unclogs pores, which reduces breakouts and even helps fade post-acne marks. That's why it can also be prescribed for acne-prone skin. Dark spots, sun damage, and uneven tone? Well, guess what? Retinol helps fade those over time, giving you a more even skin tone. Just so you know, this isn't just hype. Retinol also has real scientific backing. But hold on, quick disclaimer. Retinol can be so powerful, so start slow. 
use it at night, always wear sunscreen during the day, and expect some flaking or irritation when you first start. The purging. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's totally normal. Your skin is just adjusting. Yeah. Wow, that's a lot of ingredients we covered. Yeah. But of course, there are many more ingredients that we can add to this list, such as niacinamide, AHA, such as glycolic acid, lactic acid, and mandelic acid. There's also glutathione in skincare, TCA, MCA, ferulic acid, diamidol, resorcinol, and corticosteroid, just to name a few. So when incorporating these skincare ingredients to your skincare routine, start slow, like I mentioned earlier, and evaluate your skin's tolerance to the products. Maybe just use it twice a week for the first two to four weeks, then increase by one more day thereafter. Remember, our skin's normal turnover is approximately four to six weeks, depending on our age. So be patient, it will take some time, but slow and steady wins the race. Here are some of our favorite products for hyperpigmentation that, can, that you can incorporate into your daily skincare routine. Okay, so we have Skin Cuticle CE Ferulic Serum, Topicals Faded, Dr. Idris Major Fade Duo, Peter Thomas Roth Niacinamide Discoloration Treatment, In Beauty Retinol Mix, and for those K-Beauty skincare fans out there, <laughs> we have Soul Cuticles Day Glow and Ultra Brightening Serum. We also have Anua Niacinamide with Tranosamic Acid Serum and Numbuzzin 5 Plus Brightening Serum. So we both personally haven't tried these products, but there are a lot of good reviews with the Skin Better Science Alpha Red Cream, Skin Medica Even and Correct, ZO Bright Alive, and Elastin Illuminate. Treating hyperpigmentation doesn't just involve utilizing the skincare products. It's really a multimodal approach, utilizing chemical peels for the exfoliation, lasers and microneedling treatments to help shadow those established pigment patches in the epidermis and of course prevention with SPF. If your skin sunscreen game is not on point, all that we just talked about is pretty much useless. So prevention comes first. And that's a wrap on today's breakdown of terosinase inhibitors. <laughs> those powerful ingredients that help minimize hyperpigmentation and support a brighter, more even complexion. If you learned something new, hit that like button and subscribe for more skincare education like this. If you have a friend or know somebody that is battling dark spots, share this video with them. Drop your questions in the comments. We would love to hear from you. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.